we all make decisions every minute of our life. Now, some of these decisions are small. For example, should I buy a burger or a pizza for the party? Difficult choice indeed. A lovely cheese pizza just for me. But many a time, we are faced with much more complicated and often life-changing decisions. For example, should I take up this new job offer? Should I get married or join religious life? Should I give up my job and start my own business instead? Or should I purchase that big apartment on loan? Much, much more complicated than burgers and pizzas, right? So how should you make these important life-changing decisions? Should you just ask one's friends and elders or toss a coin and decide? Or you do an inky pinky ponky and decide? Is there a method that will help you make a decision that is more aligned with what God has in mind for you? Thankfully, there is a way out. It is called discernment. Thanks to the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Now one thing is very clear for St. Ignatius. The key to a happy life is to be in harmony with what God desires. Decisions are vital, but loving God through them is even more important. God should come first, but often we do it the other way around. We make the decision and then we try to fit God into it. So for example, we will take an exciting new job and then we pray that it works out well. Or we will first get married since everyone else is getting married and then we'll try to fit in God. Now Saint Ignatius being a soldier was a very practical man. Right at the outset he mentions the most important principle of making decisions. You must be indifferent or in other words not in favor of one choice over the other. So be in the middle of the weighing scale before you begin this process and then narrow down your options from the many possibilities to the top two. So once you have decided to do what God wants from you and you are not favoring say one decision over the other, you are called to write down in an atmosphere of prayer and silence these two options before you very clearly. For example, I will stay in my current job versus I will quit my job and start my own business. Okay, so these are your two options. So you write down the advantages and the disadvantages of each of these options. Your paper should look something like this. Now you weigh both the sides and see what are you experiencing internally. Are you being drawn to one option more than the other? or are both equally attractive. Being aware of these internal movements is an important step in the discernment process. Okay, I know what you are thinking. Seeing advantages, disadvantages is common sense. Saint Ignatius need not have reinvented the wheel. But let's be honest with ourselves. Did you follow this method when you made the last important decision in your life? The very process of sitting down and writing what's on your mind brings about a lot of clarity. The discernment process doesn't end here. God doesn't speak to us only through our mind, but also through our heart and our emotions. So you now take up each option individually and you imagine having already chosen that option. For example, Imagine having quit your job and started your own business. Imagine your day, your activities, see yourself living that life. And then check, what are you feeling? Are you feeling at peace? Do you experience an inner joy? Now repeat this exercise with the other option, that is staying in your current job. What are the feelings that you experience this time? If you are choosing what God wants of you, then you will feel a sense of inner joy, peace and calm in contrast to feeling unhappy, agitated, anxious over the future. 
Having considered thus both the intellectual and the affective dimensions, you will have a better insight into what God is asking you to do. You then make the decision and offer it to God in prayer. And how do you know that you have discerned well? You will receive a confirmation experience of peacefulness, feeling of rightness, a sense of God's presence, blessing and love. A word of caution, however, do not make very important decisions alone. You will need a spiritual director or a wise counselor, someone else who can help broaden your perspective and pick up the things that we miss. Ignatian decision making isn't a one-time event. It is a continuous process of reflection, action and evaluation. It's more like a spiral, you know, that leads us in a life lived more and more in tune with God. Wish you all happy decision making. God bless and may St. Ignatius pray for us.